Hello friends. In this video we will learn about the life-giving liquid water. Water is essential for the existence of life. Without water, there would be no life on the earth. Just like other living organisms, we also need to consume water to survive. About 97% of water present on earth is salt water found in the oceans. It is not suitable for human consumption. Less than 3% of Earth's water is fresh water. We need fresh water to survive. We are getting a good response from our viewers. However, large number of viewers still not subscribed our channel. We request a small token of appreciation in form of subscription. This will motivate us to create more valuable content for our viewers. Hence we request to click on red button appearing below this video. Sources of water Rainwater Groundwater Surface water Ice caps and glaciers Ocean water Rainwater is the main source of water. Rainfall occurs when the water vapor in the air condenses. It is considered purest form of water. However, while falling down in the atmosphere, it gets mixed with dust particles and other impurities present in the atmosphere and become polluted. During rainfall, a part of the rainwater percolates through the ground and forms groundwater. As water passes through the several layers of sand and rocks, it gets naturally filtered and is free from suspended impurities. We can obtain groundwater by digging walls and through tube wells. Water present on the surface of the earth in the form of oceans, rivers, lakes, ponds and streams is called surface water. The water in rivers and lakes comes from rain and snow melting on mountains. Surface water accounts for 80% of the water we use. About 70% of the Earth's fresh water is locked in glaciers and polar caps. The Siachen Glacier in India is one of the glaciers. Almost all the rivers eventually flow into the ocean. Thus river water is a source of water for the oceans. Although ocean water makes up nearly 97% of the entire water present on the earth, it is not a viable source of portable water because it contains salt and other impurities. Uses of water Water is responsible for carrying out important body functions such as digestion, respiration and excretion. It helps in absorbing and transporting nutrients and oxygen to various parts of plants. Water helps in eliminating waste from body and regulates our body temperature. Water is essential for germination of seeds and photosynthesis. Water forms the natural habitat for several plants and animals. Water is known as a universal solvent because it dissolves more substances than any other liquid. Water is used in making several things such as soaps, medicines and fabrics. Water in dams is used for generating electricity. Water is used to transport goods and people in ships. Water is used in many industries such as paper, fertilizers and chemicals. Water is used for cooking, bathing and washing. Water is used to irrigate fields and grow crops. Water is also used as a fire extinguisher. States of Water In nature, water occurs in all the three states of matter solid, liquid and gas. These three states of matter are interconvertible. When water means liquid is cooled to zero degrees Celsius it changes to ice that is solid. 
The process by which a liquid changes to its solid form on cooling is known as freezing. When water is heated to 100 degrees Celsius, it begins to boil and changes into vapor. The process by which a liquid changes to its gaseous form on heating is known as vaporization. On cooling the water vapor it gradually changes back to water. The process by which a gas changes to its liquid form on cooling is known as condensation. The process of changing from a solid to a gas without passing through an intermediate liquid phase is known as sublimation. Water has unique properties that are different from most other liquids. Let's learn about special properties of water. Water expands when it freezes, whereas almost all other liquids contract when they freeze. The solid form of any liquid is heavier than the liquid form, but the solid form of water that is ice is lighter than its liquid form. Since molecules are not closely packed, solid form of water is less dense than liquid water. As a result, ice floats on water. This unusual property of water is important in nature. In the areas with low temperatures, the upper layer of water freezes. Since ice is lighter than water, it floats on the surface of water bodies. The frozen layer of ice insulates the water underneath from the freezing temperature above. This allows aquatic plants and animals to survive extreme cold conditions. Water Cycle Water cycle is the process in which water moves from the land to the sky and back it again. Water evaporates from the surface of water bodies. The rising water vapor cools down and condenses to form water droplets. These water droplets collects together to form clouds. As more and more water vapor cools into the clouds, the water droplets that form the clouds become larger and larger. When the clouds become too heavy, water falls down to the ground as rain. The process by which water vapor present in the atmosphere condenses and falls down as rain or snow is known as precipitation. This rainwater collects together to give rise to different water bodies. The water in these water bodies evaporates due to the heat of the sun and the cycle continues. This cyclic movement of water from the earth to the atmosphere and back to the earth makes up the water cycle. Rain plays a crucial role in replenishment of water on earth. During summer the temperature is high. Thus there is a greater loss water from the surface of the earth due to excess evaporation and transpiration. This leads to scarcity of water. With time the rivers and lakes start to dry up. The soil also becomes dry due to transpiration and there is no addition of water. This condition is called drought. If such a condition persists for a long period of time the plants and animals die. As a result there is less food for people to eat. Such lack of food in a region for a considerable period of time is called famine. In a famine people die of starvation and dehydration. Sometimes, heavy rainfall causes rivers to flow beyond their banks and the water spills onto the land. Floods generally develop over a period of days. Water Pollution Water pollution occurs when a water body is adversely affected by the addition of large amount of unwanted materials into it. Water pollution affects rivers, lakes and oceans all over the world, which consequently harms human health and the natural environment. Main Causes of Water Pollution Use of large amounts of herbicides pesticides and fertilizers by farmers in their farms that are washed away by rainwater into nearby rivers. Waste and sewage generated by factories and houses can get into the water supply. Littering on the water is an additional source of water pollution. Water is a limited natural resource. Therefore, we must make efforts and initiate steps to conserve water. Water conservation means using water wisely. As responsible citizens, we must understand the need to conserve this natural resource. We can do so by taking a few simple actions as water your lawn and garden in the morning. Avoid flushing the toilet unnecessarily. 
Don't let water run through taps unnecessarily. Water from your roof. Collect water used for rinsing fruits and vegetables. A dam is a barrier constructed to hold back water and raise its level, forming a reservoir behind it. Dams generally serve the primary purpose of retaining water, while other structures such as floodgates are used to manage or prevent water flow into specific land regions. In addition, dams are used to generate electricity. Rainwater Harvesting Rainwater normally runs into drains, rivers and ocean. Some of it seeps through the soil and collects as underground water. Only a very small portion of the rainwater is retained on land. Hence we should try to collect the rainwater rather than allowing it to run off without being used. This can be done by rooftop rainwater harvesting. Rooftop rainwater harvesting is a method of collecting rainwater from the rooftops of houses through pipes into a water tank. This save money on water bills by using your own water source. Watering for your garden helps the environment through giving back to the water supply. Hope you understand everything about water, their sources, water pollution and water conservation.